it all started back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I'm from. I was in a coffee shop that had a seating area up where you could watch the espresso coming out and I was working on a watercolor. I was kind of bored and just looking at the espresso and I was, wow, what a pretty color brown and maybe if it stains things it could be a paint and tried it out right then and there and first we actually tried coffee grounds and then they didn't stick once it was dry and, and ended up going right back to the espresso that I was looking at in the first place and that's what worked so I've been using that ever since. A lot of people ask, you know, do you do your own art or how come you're doing the famous masterpieces and it started out right away, like as soon as I tested the coffee, I wanted to see if it could do a real painting, like make it really look like something. And so I chose Mona Lisa just to be kind of funny, like everybody's seen the Mona Lisa and, and I could stick a coffee cup in her hand and that would be fun. And uh, Everybody got a kick out of it, and then I thought, wow, there's a lot of other famous pieces that could work. And it was partly a test for myself as an artist. I wanted to learn different techniques or see see if I could do an oil painting, but using a watercolor medium, you know, coffee. So it, it's partly a, an homage to the masters and partly at the same time like an amusing spoof. It's hard to, it's kind of hard to see her because the angle of it, but there's a rosetta that she's pouring and I just kept everything else about the painting exactly the same as the original. I love this style of art where there's strong lights and darks. Uh, just creates a beautiful glow with, with even only two colors there. I moved here to Bend about three years ago, family here, and I loved the climate, and it's a beautiful place with lots of out outdoor stuff to do, but uh, a small town with a really vibrant downtown, and my studio is right downtown, and they have an art walk every first Friday of the month, and sometimes I'm open for that, and it's just been a, a good community to live in. I always enjoy painting in a coffee shop. Um, it's fun to interact with people and see their faces when they're kind of like, why is it brown? Oh, it's coffee! And it's, it's fun to just light up people's faces. I love that. Um, I also have gotten some really neat opportunities. I uh, painted a, two large murals for Espresso Vivace in Seattle. And that took, each one took at least like eight months of work. So I was just home at the time, that was my studio, just working on these large panels for the mural and, and just watching a big project come together was really satisfying. prints and cards and originals for sale on my website, which is coffee-art.com. Those you can get varieties of sizes and everything. I uh, also sell uh, commissions, so if you're interested in something unique, you can let me know through the website uh, or yeah, coffeepainter at gmail.com.